talk a lot about the turnovers the last few games and how critical those have been from your vantage point on the floor. What do you think is leading to that many miscues and what needs to happen to fix it? Um, some were sloppy. Um, some were just me getting sped up. Um, you know, I put, I put a lot of that on me, just not reading the defense correctly all the time. And sometimes, you know, just passing the ball loosely with one hand, um, just not really thinking in a moment or how detrimental that turnover may be, whether it's a travel or um, me just giving the ball to the defense. So, uh, yeah, just a lot of sloppy ones that I need to correct. Just the fact that you're playing so many new guys. I mean, mm-hmm. I think this last other game is your seventh different starting lineup, but just that many new pieces working yeah. together, does that have anything to do with maybe some of the, the ball security issues? Um, not really. Um, you know, we're all used to playing with each other during practice. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's, you know, myself included, we just don't always adjust to the defense as well. You know, sometimes we're getting ran off our cuts, um, and there's just certain little small areas that we can be stronger in and better in. Um, you know, if we're being overplayed back door a lot more or um, actually screen our defenders. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of little things that uh, we have to adjust to as the game goes on. What do you remember about Penn State's offense and the challenges with their three-point shooting? What does that present to you guys? Um, it's, it's a little tough just because they're um, not as big, um, you know, so they're able to play more out on the wing um, a lot more. And they got a lot of good shooters. Um, and they have a really good guard that likes to post up. Um, so you don't want to let him get going, um, but you also don't want to let him uh, just be able to pick pick our defense apart and just spray out the shooters. So um, for us, um, stopping their shooters is probably the most important for us and just having our rotations down. I think the coach has mentioned they starting a new center uh, who's more of a yeah. versatile guy with mm-hmm. uh, Michael Hen. I know you've played against some of the biggest big guys in the country. Do you yeah. have a... Do you have a preference? Do you maybe like mix it up against guys that are um, more similar to your skill set, or does it matter? It, it doesn't matter, but uh, I like the challenge of whatever big holds. Um, you know, he's going to force me to have to play the perimeter a lot more and, have to, and force me to actually um, be on the wing and uh, move around a lot more. Um, so it's a good challenge for me um, just because he, he's able to stretch the floor. So it makes my, my pick and roll code just a little harder just because he's not rolling to the paint, but he's popping to the three. So, um, you know, it is a little different playing him, but, um, you know, it's a basketball game. And we're going to make it work. That's all we prepare before games. You guys obviously had the lead uh, that last game about 12 minutes ago and then scored six points the rest of the way. What did you guys learn from the film study about what you need to do to be able to sustain what you did in the first 28 minutes? Um, you know, just take care of the ball. You know, um, we've harped on it about that. We've harped on it all year. Um, you know, it's up to us. And we came out the gate with so many bad turnovers. And, oh, man. <laughs> We came out of the gate with so many bad turnovers um, in the second half. Um, and like you said, we we're still up. Um, I think it was like 52 to 50 or something like that. Like, yeah, with so much time left. Um, and I think we never just took the time to realize um, as bad as it were that we were still in the game. Um, and it felt worse than what it looked. Um, it probably it probably looked worse as well. <laughs> um, you know, it's just in those moments we need to hone on an opportunity and understand where we are at in the game and um, just take care of the ball more and um, get stops and rebounds. Uh, rebounds hurt us a lot. Um, so just box out, get rebounds, and run our offense on offense. You guys got Blaze back for the first yeah. time in a while. How much, I mean, I know he's still easing back into it, but just having his presence in the front court, how does that? help everybody else um I like his presence a lot um just because he's uh he's gonna give up his body he's gonna he's gonna play hard he's going to um especially on defense you know he's not scared of anyone um he takes charges um and he does he he does what he can to do the right thing always so um having Blaze back um is a blessing because um you know Will can finally play more of his position at the four position um, and he can be more comfortable playing his role um, instead of having to play the four and five uh, most of the time. Not to say that he won't play the five still, but um, he can just be comfortable with the four and get a lot more minutes at the four and by having Blaze back. So um, it, it's, it, it gives us sort of a balance to have him back. 